Um, probably for me, don't be late, because I'm always running late. <laughs> Morgan, you're late. Coach's favourite saying. Oh, it's a bit quiet, actually. Um, probably, sorry, boys, I'm running late. Well, Scratchy never shuts up, so there's many things that he could say, but um, Chris is pretty quiet, so I think all pre-season, all I've heard is um, conditioning, that word, so probably that one. Uh, the small little things. He says that quite a lot, so when he's teaching us, when he's coaching us on something, it's always about the small little things. Shagger. 2K time trial. Day for it. Be like Corey Musket. Stop talking, live. Bubble. I've never seen such an amazing team in my life. Uh, Dimmer always says uh, to everyone at the, the start of a hard session, it's what you put in, whatever you put in is what you get out of it. So it's encouraging us to go hard to get the best out of our session. Mark always says, um, see you on the track, as like um, encouraging you to get on and try. Mm, Favourite saying. No, I'm not too sure he doesn't. He says bubble a lot. We're doing a few drills. Not much he really says. He talks a lot, but come on. Oh, it's probably my name. Because he likes to pick on me, Freda. He likes to say Christian or Adorno. And I am the one. I'm always the one to get picked on. How good's this? How good's this? He's only been around a while, but he loves saying give the ball to Benny. Stop stuffing around, Benny. Keep fighting. Leave nothing in the tank. Ah, uh, listen up, guys. I uh, bring in the cones. Oh, he doesn't really have a saying. I'd more say just enjoy enjoy your footy. More advice that he's given me, enjoy your footy. Don't concentrate too much on the outcome, but yeah, use it as a bit of fun. I'll, I'll swing over to the assistant coach here. His favourite saying in training is a punchy little number. You know, whatever drill we do, if, even if it's not short and sharp, he always say, I've got a punchy little number for you, boys. Well, Pete, yeah, Pete, yeah, Pete just always says that, um, <laughs> he's like, we're going to win. But first we'll have loads of fun. <laughs> yeah. Uh, it'd probably be him saying that he's got so many houses that he doesn't need to work anymore. If only I could still play, I'll show you boys how it's done. I think that's the feel. <laughs> Probably get him off. Oh, definitely get him off, yeah. Just throw the ball. He tends to say cross the I's, dot the T's a lot, which doesn't really make much sense to me, but yeah. Um, I don't know if she has a singular favourite thing. Um, probably just like anything that she thinks is inspirational. She doesn't really have a favourite saying, but she always, before the game, has inspirational quotes for us, so probably that. Crystal ball um, that Harley Walsh never misses a target when he's running at full speed. I'll see you at the beach at 6am, don't be late. Honestly, I'm, there's too many to remember, I couldn't even tell you one. He does, doesn't mind a chat old Bryce so yeah. <laughs> run, run, run. Use your butt, not your head. Keep running. Probably don't yell at Aaron Smith. Um, we owe these blokes. Uh, it's Brooklyn's time. Run. <laughs> Alright. What does he say? He doesn't say much. <laughs> Probably the assistant coach. I reckon he says a lot, do you know what I mean? And half the time I don't know what he means. <laughs> you know. You know, at the end of every sentence it's always just, you know? Yep, uh, no, I don't know. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Favourite saying? Ah, uh, don't know if he has a saying, but he likes to add the K on the end of words, so something will be something. Oh, I've got a new coach this year. Uh, probably kick it to Jobbo. Yeah, it's probably. Um, his favourite saying is, what are we missing? And the answer is always voice. Uh, that I don't want to talk too much, and then he proceeds to talk far too much. Um, don't, don't give up, especially when we're, we're knackered. Uh, kick it down the line to Reedy. He'll sort it out. <laughs> Stop dwaddling. <laughs> That's like, oh my god, I hate this. Um, pressure, pressure, pressure. Um, he bangs on a lot about perceived pressure. Trust me, this will help us every time we do burpees. Uh, probably gonna have to be, hello fellas. He starts off every night. Uh, we we'll probably be train the way you play. He loves that one. Um, the only thing I remember him saying is uh, stances. 
Um, at the end of the day, Joe the Goose, concertina, whatever that means. Uh, he likes to say we're seagulls to a chip a lot, especially at training. He's got a couple, definitely just keep them rolling and let's do the footy shuffle is something that he says a lot of the time, like heaps, over and over and over again. Probably Bren and Jade stop mucking around. Uh, doesn't really have one, just mumbles a lot. The show must go on, we've got premierships to win. Uh, go little one! Uh, he always forgets that he's the coach of the whole team and just uh, cheers for his daughter. Um, probably get on court and get it done. His favourite saying, there's a saying that goes around a lot, the cream will always rise and we are the cream, so that's, that's uh, definitely his favourite saying. Um, you guys might have a saying, but anything about him playing for Brisbane back in the day brings that up a lot. Um, it's probably, Blady, I'm not picking on you, it's just because I saw that last. It would be get around each other, so just get around and support each other. That's a role. It's a little, little thing we do at the club. There's a sort of a punishment for each player, but yeah, it's his favourite thing to say, so. Uh, Cookie said it before, but that's a role. He, every training session, you find, without a doubt, he just makes them up as he goes. Always do you understand, Hilly, after every drill. He's always lost. <laughs> um, one of the best was, uh, we're picking out a dead carcass. <laughs> um, AJ, are you paying attention? She doesn't have one. She can't get a word in. We don't shut up. <laughs>